Coming up on Through the Vine, we take a look at the local wine industry and what's behind an increasing shortage of farm workers. Plus, a historic day marking the future of the Calistoga Fairgrounds. And from a dedicated play space to a backpack giveaway, how Napa County is looking out for future generations. Welcome to this edition of Through the Vine, the official Napa County newscast. I'm Linda Weinrich, Communications and Public Information Officer. We begin with a look at the local wine industry and how farm workers are facing critical housing needs. This was highlighted in the latest farm worker housing needs and impacts assessment. Presented to the Board of Supervisors, the report highlights an increasing shortage in the local farm labor section driven by a lack of affordable housing for Napa Valley's farm workers. Among the findings, most farm workers are parents, a majority of whom have children under the age of 18. 30% of that workforce is female. The farm workers are coming from great distances to work here, some commuting up to four hours a day. And seasonal work is much longer now than before, lasting nine to 11 months of the year. Jennifer Palmer is the Director of Housing and Homeless Services. So the wine industry generates about $10 billion in local annual economic impact. At the heart of that economic engine are 9,000 farm workers, most of whom are struggling to access housing that is affordable. That is leading to significant retention issues across the workforce for the industry. It is really in all of our best interest to engage in collaborative solutions. The new chief of the Cal Fire Sonoma Lake Napa unit and Napa County Fire, Matt Ryan, recently introduced himself to the Board of Supervisors and shared his vision for the future of fire suppression and resiliency in Napa County. My commitment is to lead our department with clarity and intent, ensuring we meet the goals through transparent communication and effective leadership. While our mission, vision, and values are unchanged, our approach will be refined to achieve these objectives. Chief Ryan brings with him 24 years of experience in fire administration and operations. In Calistoga, there's a new county office that offers behavioral health services. As part of Napa County Health and Human Services, the office serves as an entry point to a wide array of behavioral health services like mental health and substance abuse treatment. The office is located at 1705 Washington Street in Calistoga. Hours of operation are Monday through Friday. Appointments and walk-ins are accepted. To find out more, call 707-259 8151. Also in Calistoga, Napa County recently officially handed over the keys for the Calistoga Fairgrounds to the city of Calistoga. It's an honor to be here and hold the keys. We didn't always have this bow on the keys. <laughs> easy to find. Um, and I want to just start by acknowledging what a historic day this is for both Calistoga and Napa County. That was Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors, Ann Cottrell. The sale of the fairgrounds was made possible by the collaboration and commitment of the county and the city to bring the deal to fruition and represents the revitalization and preservation of a cherished community asset. Earlier this year, in January, the Board of Supervisors approved the sale of the fairgrounds. Turning now to awards, Napa County Child Support Services was recently recognized by the state for four child support performance awards, including highest percentage in collecting current child support and child support arrears, and fewest days from case opening to first collection for orders existing and not existing at opening. The recognition comes during this Child Support Awareness Month of August. And to help kick off the month and prepare for the new school year, child support staff were recently in downtown Napa giving away backpacks and other school supplies. Steven and Diego. The team distributed backpacks and supplies to over 120 kids in Napa County. Donations came from the Teacher Resource Center of the North Bay and former Director of Child Support Services, Janet Notley. Shanna Avery is the assistant director. It's important to be known for things other than child support. Um, part of that is supporting our community, supporting children and, and their parents. To learn more about child support services, visit countyofnapa.org and search child support services. We end this newscast with a new dedicated space for play at Health and Human Services. Take a look at the new Imagination Station. 
Hola. A trip to Napa County Health and Human Services is one that sisters Kehlani and Allison don't want to end. It's laughter and smiles that fills mom Victoria with joy. I'm the best mom when I see them playing. The new Imagination Station all started as an idea by nonprofit Children's Museum of Napa Valley. Alicia Garcia is the co-founder and president. We're at the Imagination Station and this is a lovely playscape for kids to come to to be able to learn and grow through play. From a play kitchen, gears and books, to a puppet theater and racetrack, the new Imagination Station is a dedicated space for kids and families in the lobby of Health and Human Services Self-Sufficiency Division. We see the importance of having a direct service for the community, and what we want to do is provide these little nooks and spaces for where kids and adults are already interacting and need to attend to business, that kids can go play, learn, be curious while their caregivers and adults are doing maybe some stressful items. For folks who come to this county lobby, they're often applying for Medi-Cal, CalFresh, and the many other safety net resources provided by Health and Human Services. Jennifer Yasumoto is the director. This space really does take what might be a process focused on adults seeking services here, and it really speaks to, we've thought about the children who come with the adults, and we've made it a amazing creative space where children actually want to be. The space builds on the Too Small to Fail initiative from 2023. The Imagination Station expanding the area through collaboration of Children's Museum of Napa Valley, Napa County Health and Human Services, and First Five Napa County, which provided the funding. We are incredibly lucky to be um, in a community that has such fantastic foundational systems in place. It's wonderful to be a part of a community that thinks about how to strengthen our families in all the ways that maybe aren't traditional. I feel important in this place when I come in because I see my kids comfortable and I feel important, very important here. As for future plans, the hope is for more Imagination Stations to come. If you'd like to check out the play space, come to 2751 Napa Valley Corporate Drive and go to Building A. Thank you for tuning into Through the Vine. Be sure to follow Napa County on Facebook, X, Instagram, YouTube, and Nextdoor. For more county news, programs, and services, visit countyofnapa.org. We'll see you next time.